guys, Logimania, and today we are on our Greg Block Sky Blocks. And as you might notice, I'm in armor, other than what I was in last time. That broke a while ago, so I just recently made some steel armor because protection. And then I also moved my machines to over here and then have automated water filling, lava making, and all that stuff. Everything's pretty much automated. I just have to, for water, go over there with the drum, fill it up. Lava, just put it there, fills it up. I set up a bunch of crafting tables, got a bunch of dirt off camera, got a ton of charcoal. Like a ton. And then started working on the iron production or steel some more. Okay, and then made these everywhere for different resources also. Move that. This is where the farm's gonna be set up. These are just little outlines. So before we get actually into the farm part of this episode. I have some items I need to craft. That goes there. That is done. Let's see. I almost... I thought I had everything set up. Just realized. Don't have everything set up for this. For the most part I do. Just need these, really. And then that. Which required... This, I believe. Yeah. Put. You in there. Done. And then, made a ton. Or a lot of circuits, not a ton, actually. Where did I put them, is the question. They're in one of these chests. Semi-organized. Semi-not. Also made a bunch of steel drums instead of the bronze ones. I learned not that the coal boilers are the not the only boiler that or steam powered thing that can blow up. I blew up one of my lava boilers off camera. Which blew up like four other machines. Which I was not happy about. <laughs> Ash, that's just from me getting the charcoal, which ultimately the ash is really important because I can make ash brick, which then makes a lot more charcoal, which I'll show the charcoal product production eventually. Don't know one. Uh, grew a couple trees in that area, infest them with the silkworms, got a ton of string and wool. And what else? Don't think I made anything off camera. Let's see. What else do I need for this quickly? I want to finish this, then work on that. In port. Okay, so that in a trap chest. Gross. Also made a bunch of the halls for stuff. So how to make a trap chest in this? Oh, it can just be a regular chest. Okay. I need to find everything. <laughs> just randomly lost everything. Put bust. Need two more chests. Do I have any more wood? I have one piece. Here we go. Do that. And then let's see. Put hatch. Glass.
Got some glass regularly smelting in here. And then let's see, what's the other thing? Output. Output bust or hatch. Good thing I looked. Why did I wait? Oh yeah, they're in here. Output hatch. Okay, that thing is done. Let's try not to crash. Let's see. Let's set this up. So it goes. Fire casings on the bottom. And then input, input. Wait, empty? I'm confused now. Does it have to be empty? I was in. Why would. LV shows. I don't know where to put this. Let's, I guess, build it here. Goes like this, right? Bust. Oh, yeah, bust. Hatch. Next layer is that casing, casing, cap. That, boop, boop. I do not have a thing in one of these chests here. I'm actually not gonna place this down till the end so I can actually know where everything is. Okay, so I need the output hatch there actually. Output hatch. That was not meant to go there. That, that, and what's the top layer consist of? Just pure machine casing. I made, I ended up making a lot of extra. There we go. And let's large bronze boiler. Don't know how to use this, but it's built. Did this unlock? anything new. No. Well, might as well start working on the farm. Just gonna, gonna do something real quick and I'll be short back. Okay, so now did what I had to do need let's start the farm off at least the dirt part I'm gonna place down now and then so these wooden pillars are just like outlines of where the farm's gonna be and stuff eventually I'll make this look really nice probably in this episode it's gonna look actually really nice or decently nice. But just get this going. Water would go there, right? Yeah. Hmm. 
and then I made this max distance or as big as it can be with one block of water so this should work nicely and then yeah so I got some stuff I, I'm gonna plant the main crops in here and like carrots, potatoes, wheat, and beets. Uh, this wasn't supposed to happen. Those will be the main crops. And then, off camera, I, while well, going through my mob farm, a, I had a chicken spawn because of a zombie chicken guy. And then got the chicken into my pen of animals, ended up despawning. And was like, how did it despawn? And then I go back later today, and there was a sheep. So my chicken turned into a sheep. And I'm just like, how did that happen? Almost done with this. Yeah, this episode I'm mainly focusing on the farm, but also gonna do some other stuff too. Getting farther in the LV stage. So, final bit, there we go, sorry about the lag, it's from the rain, then, and you also might have noticed I expanded this a lot more, changed basically all of that to stone, or cobble, this to cobble, and that's the major thing I did off camera, other than getting resources. But that's the main visual difference. I did. Doesn't change much, but still. Pose gonna break. Let's see. What's the requirements for a help? Is there a ruby help? Yes, two rubies and a chisel. I might actually do that. Which one has, has my ruby? And let's smell that. I also smelled a lot of ores off camera. And started working on that production. Got a lot of these random ores I should be using, definitely. Which gonna start. Need a stick. Do you have any regular wood? Somewhere. Just a second. I also made a couple bone crooks to get string and stuff. Because I found that would be useful. Potato. Regular. What other seeds do I have? Carrots. Don't think I have beetroot. Guess not. 
And let's just get this. Let's worry about this first. And the zombie sound that you keep hearing is from under this, like just over there, because there's a little bit of dark patch. Okay, let's plant carrots in here, potatoes in here. Need another couple hoes. And I figured out the diff. There's nothing really different about these two tank, these two furnaces. They do the same basically. Also, figured out to power this, you just put it next to steam or next to a boiler of some sort, which is nice. Let's see, should be that. Ah. Make some more hose. Really like the look of this. And I just tramp the crop. So I'm actually gonna finish hoeing the land and planting some crops and I'll be right back when I'm ready to fill in the insides of this. Okay, so I learned that you can't get beetroot seeds anyway. Pop. There's no way to get beetroots. So, I'm just gonna do this actually with my melon seeds and pumpkin seeds oof that's not actually gonna work because I would have these here and here break those and then I also have a ton of bone meal for my pumpkins from all my crops and stuff or from the skeletons so I can bone meal this stuff up My biggest concern with this arrangement of crops is these are gonna go backwards and then these won't be able to grow. That's why where these go backwards and can't grow those. That's my biggest concern for this. Let's just grow these up. I bone mealed the carrots a ton. Or used a stack of bone meal on the carrots to get them growing a little bit more. I'm gonna do that to the potatoes now. Use whatever I have left. I already got some crops growing. 
and farms basically just needs to be reproduced one off camera. But let's see. Let's do this. That's not what I'm supposed to go there. Get that chest got in my way. This can go here. That wasn't supposed to happen. Then just go around this a ton. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. What? Not both of these both can't go towards the same one, can they? That's that's a little broken. Oop. Now we just need the inside pieces. And my farm's basically complete for now. But let's work on the next bit of items I need done. So I want to work on getting Robo Arm for some of this stuff. Electric piston. Okay, steel. It's two steel rods. Steel gear. Need to make the motor first. One, two, three, four. Four copper wire. Let's see. Where do I have all my stuff? Here's my tin. Don't think I have any copper. Plates. And then I like this setup for items. I might move this chest actually here because with the hoppers and stuff, how they work, I can do that. Might do that just for saving some room. Yeah, my farm's starting to come along decently. Mainly the pumpkins and stuff are coming along nicely, but still. Let's get the rods. Need four. Motor is done. Now steel rods. What's the small gear recipe? Just plate. Four plates? Yeah, I need four plates. Let's see. What do you require? Hammer. Boop. Let's go up there. I'm walking and she's walking 
but so this unlocks the rest of the stuff. This is here. So let's see. I'm gonna get the stuff for this stuff off camera and be right back. Okay, so I got the piece for the thing done. And that's right in here. So the robot arm done. And then right here, I made some more of these motors. So that way, I can make the wire mill. Which is one of my achievements I need to do. I need... Do we need anything else? No. Okay, got the wire mill now. Which then I can put... I think maybe right here. To get energy. No. Wonder something. If I move these three items. Have you here? You there? You there? And then, since it's daytime, quickly get some water. Get you heating up. Hopefully you get steam. I want to see how you power this. Because I'm actually kind of interested. But, let's see. What did I unlock from? This is just getting bigger and bigger. Digital age, yes. This is what I wanted. I needed to get to the digital age. So what's the aluminum quest? Aluminum. Invar Capro Nickel Capro Nickel something. The metals can't simply be smelted in a furnace and require an art blast furnace. Reduce into ingots, black coils. Okay. Ah. Uh. Okay. How do I get in bar? <laughs> nickel and iron. How do I get nickel? an actual or so it seems like there's another one platinum has a chance of spawning is the problem how do I actually get nickel? Nickel.
Are you gonna get it from sand? Sand in the steel mesh. Okay. So, I'm gonna work on getting sand. We're getting the nickel. And it seems like this works now. Ooh, nice. So one turns into two. This is nice. Awesome. Then it needs a certain amount of power. So it needs to reach 200 or 400, basically 500 before it can do anything. Okay, so I'll get, I'll try to get some nickel, actually, let me, yeah, I'll try and get some nickel off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got the eye, or the nickel, and let's pulverize it quick, or at least a little bit quick. Got a decent amount. There's actually three different items that give it. I've got a bunch of other ore too. Pulverize nickel, and then let's see. Need some iron. Let's blast furnace that up. What was the other item I needed? Cup run nickel. That requires nickel and copper. Okay. Let's smelt some more nickel. Or pulverize some more nickel. Guess getting a little bit more. Whatever. Get some more copper. The invar is made. Invar is probably one of the uh, most useful items in most games. And I got that. That piece is done. I need a lot of this, I guess. Let me guess. I need actually coil. Where's the coil? Wow. So let's see. This is going to take forever. So I guess I'm not getting into this for a while. But let's see. Just pulverize a bunch of this nickel. And then let's send you through there. You guys can go through that. Go through that. I'm gonna use. Let's. See. Don't typically use that, but I need it now. Bucket should be in this chest. Which chest do I end up storing all my stuff in? This one? No. I honestly can't remember. This Okay. Just gotta make sure there's plenty of water in this. Because I don't want another explosion. be good for now. Let's see. Then I need a couple pieces of charcoal. Let's start heating that up. 
And let's see. Let's go back to the basic. We need basic furnace. Double copper ones. Boop. Uh, and need more of these, definitely. Okay. So, I'm gonna work on getting more nickel, definitely. Need that. But also getting some other items like the anything I need for these. And I'll be right back. Okay. So, uh, got the stuff. I just need my circuits to make the furnace. And then let's see. There's the furnace that I needed. What else should I make? Arc furnace or allied smelter I'm gonna need. And then over here, like I showed, had the setup. Got added the tank there. So you're gonna get energy. No. Do you have to be on top? That's going on top work. No. Okay. So I honestly have no clue how that thingy works. I want to test something. If I put in... I can't even put in water. Okay, yeah. I want to be able to use that, but... Let's see. What attachments go with this? So I can move the energy. There a is there an item so I want to try out the furnace electric pump is a common fluids no do I need more of these Might as well make one or two more. Those are expensive, but that's the best. Is that steam? I don't remember. Oh, yeah, I do remember making those. Yeah. So, let's see. I have nothing being made here. I need more copper. Out of anything. That's it. So I can make nine of these. Of the pieces I need. So I might as well. Then. That. Heat proof. <coughs> Heat proof machine casing. Invar. Invar frame. Okay, how much invar do I have? How much should I get from that? So I need 13. So I need to do it five times. Gross. What was invar again? Iron and nickel. You in there. 
how much? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12, I need 26, gross, that's a lot I need, so just, just gonna grab actually a ton of that. I need 10 sticks, I believe, in total. Because if I need to make this, I have to make this twice. Right? I don't want to make extra. Okay, yeah. I need to make that twice. Is this a multi-block structure? I feel like it's gonna be. It. This is ugly. It's worse than that. I kind of wish these textures were smoothed together. But I guess, let's see, what am I doing? I have no clue. So, one more in here. In my chisel, my file. Out the way. That. Let's get some of my plates. should have it in here. Yeah, it was in here. Okay, and then how many more plates? Two, three, so that's that. That should be enough. That should be semi-decent, but not actually, it's, gonna, it's not gonna be enough. Nothing in there. I should really have something going in here. Let's just finish using that. more in bar. Come on. Let's do that. Yeah, I need just a little bit more in bar of that. And this should be the end of it. These are gonna be huge. I'm just gonna have a row of multi-block structures all the way across here in the future. That's what it's gonna end up being. Like, come on. I wanna see the furnace in action. Then final plates. Done with that. And then need to make electric blast furnace. Multi smelter. That I 
it's still ugly. But it's, yeah, it's still ugly. No matter what you do, it's gonna be ugly. Okay. So what's really the difference? I don't know. I need three for nine. I just grab these three. Is Furni actually the plural of Furnace? Or is it Furnaces? I think it's Furnaces. I think it just randomly said Furni. Because... I say Furni sometimes. Actually... Electric Blast Furnace. This. You're done. Need output bust energy input hatch. Output bust is a chest. That's the boop. Wait. Yeah. That should make. Does it need to be in a crafting table? I find that a little redundant. Why would you need it in a crafting table? Okay. Now I just need another input bust, which was that and the chest. Then let's start making this. So we have the that there input bust, output bust, input hatch. They're not going to be able to actually be next to each other, are they? No. You go there. You're not necessary. I forgot I still need this. Need that to show me the instructions. Okay. So I have the two input hatches on the edge, input bust and output. So input, output. Those two things. There. I probably shouldn't place that yet. Okay, so I'm gonna let's see. Do I have any more copper? It's a thing. Yes. I'm gonna get the rest. I'm gonna need to get some more nickel. So, I'll be back when I have the rest of these that I need. We'll see you guys in, in one second. Okay, so, got the pieces. Done. Uh, I need a new wrench, apparently. 
expensive, just plates. Okay. And. Okay. So I looked at the recipe of. or the mechanics to building this. Let me show you a problem. So, it tells us we need this bunch of these input bust, output bust, and two energy input hatches. But, it didn't tell us we needed two regular input hatches. So, I didn't make those because it didn't tell us we needed it. And nowhere on this is the second energy one. So, I made an input hatch just because it didn't say we needed it, so I just made it. If you want us to use something, tell us that we need it, game. Otherwise, people are going to get everything ready and they can't build it. So, let me make another one of these. Or another few of these. Boop. Done. And then, I almost built this entirely wrong. Because there's not supposed to be anything in the middle. And I almost put a middle. And it would have been like didn't tell me to make enough. Okay, multi-block is done. So let me break this and energy goes through there. Can I go in here? don't understand these like don't understand the recipes so now it wants me to make aluminum right aluminum requires what aluminum dust which requires pulverizing Yeah, I'm not doing that. Let's just take... Where did I put the aluminum? What do you... How do I do this? Just put you in a pulverizer. Okay. Which is this machine. That's the pulverizer. The problem I see with with having to pulverize this, I can just put in the hammer. Okay, good. Because the problem with pulverizing is you get extra items. No, there's no energy. That's why it didn't work. Duh. But you get extra items which you can't really collect otherwise. So let me move this. I grab my and then let's see. Grab some water buckets. see how well you work and then and then I should what can I do with this I can purify it seems like I have to purify it so this can go back in here I'm gonna grab some more water. Okay. Now I'm 
that we should be seeing once this starts actually creating steam should go in here hopefully idling because nothing's in it okay I'm just gonna let's just make the crushed aluminum stuff And then unpurified goes into something I don't have. Don't have that. Let's see, aluminum. Last friends, need aluminum dust. So I guess I need something else before I can get aluminum. So, okay. So what's the item I need? It's not what I clicked on. I need this machine. Doesn't seem too complicated. I need one more. I need some more of these. Okay. So I'm gonna get stuff for that off camera. Let's see, is this actually working? Am I getting any power in here? Don't honestly no. Actually gonna This this is definitely a waste of steam. But whatever. That there, that there, direct charcoal, power you, and I'm gonna get the stuff to make that machine off camera and be right back. Okay, so, boop, made that, and I just keep changing things up on my island. So, once I figure something else out, I typically change it. I figured out that these wires actually conduct the electricity, which is really nice. So, they go in and power this. I can't touch it without dying. I died once already by touching them. On accident. So I moved this down here and made a little space. This is where I'm gonna have all the electricity or all the wires and stuff going. I feel like these, the cables, are actually a lot better to use. But the problem is there's no cable for Let's see, with regular wire, there's no cable for that either. Huh. I guess those two don't have cables. But I know how I'm gonna protect that so I don't die. I need to light some places up. <laughs> Definitely now. Now that I. I know I need it to. I don't know why I never did. That had a shield for some reason. I feel like my chicken that I said I had. Actually died when I was summoning slimes. Like, I was making slime blocks and those summoned slimes, as you might remember in the when I originally made slime blocks. And then I think the slimes got in and somehow killed my chicken. Which is why it disappeared. Or it just magically disappeared and changed into the sheep. Who knows? I want that there game. 
and you shouldn't be growing there either. That should be pumpkin. That should grow there. That should grow there. That should grow there. You should not be connected. Come on, game. This could look really nice, but... Okay, what else? Did okay, so I needed this. So I'm just going to place that there so it can gain a little bit of energy but needs to go in. Nothing? Do I not have any power? I do not have any power. Okay. But... I do not comprehend this. I don't understand. Can I take the wrench and... I feel like the wrench should be able to do that. Where's my wire cutters? Because I know I didn't use it all. Let's reposition this. Let's actually go down here. Getting power this way? No. I don't understand this. I know I can drag it this over here and you gain power wait not anymore does this just take too much power this has to take too much power that's gotta be it Let's try and fix this. Don't want to die. Let's see. If I connect that, we get power. No. It's not even sending it through. Oh, that's why. Let's see. Nope. Be on it like this. Now let's see. Yep. Now it should be powering up. Not. Because I take damage from it. Interesting. Well, let's, I guess, connect you to actually that won't work let's disconnect this wire since it doesn't seem to be working anyways right now and Let's 
let's see. Craft with an ender pearl to get that. Okay. What was the advancement I could get with this? Okay, never mind, I already got it. That wasn't supposed to happen. Well, seeing that this is already a long episode, I'm just gonna call it good and figure this stuff out in the morning or in the next episode. See you guys then. It should be like in a day or two after this. Bye!